All right. Hey, guys, this is Steve Kemp again with the People Not Titles podcast, and I'm here with Ted Thomas, tax lien guru. This is our third interview we're doing together. And Ted, let's get right to it. You know, can, just review real quick, Ted, for our, you know, our, our constituency, what a tax lien certificate is. OK, all properties in the United States, if you just tuned in, have a property tax. And you guys know that every property has a property tax. Now, in about half of the states, the state won't do very much about it when they get a tax default. And so what they will do about it is they will issue what's called a tax lien certificate. They leave the people in the property and they just slap their hand and say, look, you haven't paid your tax. So we're going to have to put you in default and we're going to sell your taxes by selling a tax lien certificate. So anybody can go and buy one of these. Now, in the state of Florida, they have a million of these available every May. Every May, they have a million. So anybody can buy one. You can raise your hand and buy it at auction. You can buy it online. All right, now, when, I, when you buy this certificate, you pay someone else's taxes. All right, now, the maximum rate of interest on a tax certificate in Florida is 18%. So let's say I bought one and I got it and paid 18%. So I would just take the certificate. I raised my hand. I bought it. Took it on, put it on my desk. Then I just sit on my rusty, dusty, and wait. When the people come in and pay their money, they pay their taxes, they have to pay the 18%. So the local government, nobody's touched the money. I don't ever touch the money. The county gets the money. The county will send me the 18%. That's how you make money on tax lien certificate. Now, I can buy as many as I want. This state will have a million of, of, of them available. Now, the other states that don't sell tax lien certificates, they're not so benevolent. They don't let the person stay in the property. They say, you didn't pay the tax, so they confiscate the property and they resell it. So now let me show you this happening right here in Florida. So property came up for auction. Nobody bought the tax lien certificate because when they went out to look at it, it was a house. They could tell it was there. The road was in disrepair. It wasn't well, and had trees growing over it. So the tax lien expired. So now what's the government going to do? They got a house. They don't want houses. They don't want anything. So they put the house up for auction. The starting bid at a tax defaulted auction, the starting bid is the back taxes. So this house had a tax assessed value of $90,000. So the bidding started and it started at $5,000. So my client went there, saw the bid go to 5,000, but my rule for all my clients, you included, is don't buy anything that you haven't looked at. Well, my client wasn't lazy. He went and got in his car and he drove out there. It was out in a rural area, a rural county north of, it's pretty rural in Florida when you get out of a city. So he's out there and the trees were growing over the house. So he went and he looked at it, inspected it. There's actually people that had been living in there. All right, so he inspected. He said, well, this is worth more than back taxes. All right, so the auction started at 5,000. Bottom line is he bought the house for $9,000. Watch this video. I went to probably 10 or 11 different auctions and then on November the tour, I got a property yeah. for $9,100. I started doing my research, make sure that there was no liens, actually make sure there was not enough floodplain and you know, make sure that everything makes sense. By the way, let me mention, I had an investor that showed up and he was like right behind me all the time. He was trying to get me to sell the house as is for $130,000 cash. So that right there tells you that there was value in the property. So I ended up getting this property, put it on an agreement for deal, which is land contract, for $170,000. On that $170,000, I ended up getting $5,950 down. So I got that. I got it within 60 days. I didn't do no repairs to it. They got rid of all of the garbage. I gave them a discounted rent for the first year for $1,400 a month. And they are actually doing all the repairs, redoing the bathrooms and, you know, so making it nice and clean. They already replaced the, the hardwood flooring. They didn't like the laminate flooring that it has, so they replaced all of the hardwood flooring for me. So worst case scenario, they walk away. I still have the property. It's in a better condition, and I keep the money. All right, there it is. He put 9000 bucks up to buy that property. He had 150 people show up to his open house. He did not fix the property. He cleaned it and had 150 people show up as an open house. So that's the kind of thing that can happen at a tax auction. So there you go. Wow, Ted, excellent. 
Um, I love those stories. The success stories are where they're where it's at. Um, do the counties automatically send you a check with the interest when a certificate is redeemed, or do you have to follow up and chase them down? Well, I would say you have to follow up up until now. But um, this last month, one of my one of my coaches said, "Ted, my phone just rang, and guess what? I just got six thousand dollars interest put in my account." Wow. He buys. One of my coaches buys round numbers, about $300,000 worth of tax certificates. And now the county here, the county I live in, doesn't want anybody to call anymore. So they just do it automatically. They deposit in his bank account. Wow, when, so he bought, when he bought, he had to give them his bank account, right? Yeah. So put the money in and they just send it to his bank account. Wow. So Ted, these coaches that you have that people will be learning from when you talk about this class, these aren't just schmucks that are just talking about it and not doing it. These are well, they're schmucks. I tell them they're all yeah. smart. Don't tell them they're anything good. They'll charge me more money. <laughs> no, no, no. These guys, okay. they're my students. They started as a student of mine, and they went through the whole process, and they're doing deals. If they don't do deals, they can't become kind of a coach with Ted. If they're wow, not okay. doing deals today, I had a text today, you wouldn't know it, from people in Arizona that just did the, their third deal this year. Now, it's, it's only April. They've already done three deals this year. And this one, they made over $100,000, their coaches. Wow, fantastic. Ted, what yeah. is the fastest state to get access to the, your property, the defaulted properties? Fastest is probably Texas. We should talk a little bit about Texas. Texas is unbelievable. Texas is a big state, as everybody knows. And um, in Texas, they sell what's called a redeemable deed. Now, this is going to send your head spinning. So what they do is they have an auction. They have a constable come up on the platform. He's got guns on constable, and he's going to sell the property. So in Texas, they sell the property on the first Tuesday of every month in every county. The first Tuesday in the month, every month. Anything is tax default, they sell it. Now, when you raise your hand, you buy a tax deed. I'm going to get one. I've got one right here on my desk. Okay, a little bit different than a tax lien, but same kind of thing. It's just a piece of paper. And you guys have all been to a closing. You know what a deed looks like. That's a deed. All right, you get a deed. All right, this is a redeemable deed. So you just bought it, and you bought it on my property. But it's redeemable. So I have 180 days to come in and pay you whatever you paid, plus 25%. I mean, you pray they're going to come in and pay you, because they're going to give you 25%. But if they don't come in, you've already got the deed. 180 days wow. you own the property in every county in Texas. Now, Texas is one of five redeemable deed states. And wow. the sea's that way. Georgia's that way. Georgia's right next to Florida. It's my favorite state. They got auctions first Tuesday in the month. Wow, so uh, are these the best states to buy tax deeds? Texas, Georgia, Florida? I, I, they're, all, they're all good. All, all of them are good. Okay. I, uh, when people, when, the first question people will have, when people come to me, they go through my six hours and they say, Ted, give me a course on this. I want to know more. And they get involved. First question always is, which is the best state? It's the best state for you. For me, Georgia is the best state because I live a, a couple hundred miles. So I can go there and buy redeemable deeds. Then I just go home and pray. Because in Georgia, they pay 20%. So wow. no matter what happens, I'm either getting a property for a bargain price at the auction or I'm getting 20%. I'll take 20% for my money all day long. Mm. All right. The market's, the market's what, four or five percent for CD? Yeah. Twenty yeah. percent. And the check comes from the government. Wow. This is happening in every state in the United States. People look at me and say, Really? Are you sure about this, Ted? I'm so sure I've been doing it for 30 years. I've been doing it more than 30. I've been teaching people how to do it for 30 years. Yeah. Check it out. You find Ted Thomas. You can Google my name, you'll find out. Yeah, well, Good. Ted, that's how I found you. I Googled the uh, tax liens because I had a bunch of people asking me about this. And sure enough, you were the first guy. And I was like, this guy is the godfather of it. So Ted, yeah. is an attorney or a broker required to buy a tax defaulted property or tax lien? Well, you don't need either of them. However, I'm going to tell you, once you have, once you know you're going to be in it, you need them for other things. So I would tell you, when you're going to buy an estate, I'm a, I'm a guy that's selling you educational material. Yeah. Do I know every single law for every single county? No, I don't. And every county can be, these jurisdictions change things. So you should seek the advice of an experienced, I said experienced, 
attorney, experienced in tax lien and deed, not just a regular guy, unless yeah. he's going to charge a fortune to learn it. Yeah. Experienced tax lien. Now, would you want to seek the advice of a broker? Yes, because now the broker, ha more than likely, if they don't have one, don't hire that broker. They have a network of people. Now, that network can help you. He already knows if the attorney's any good, or he knows another, or he knows a fixer-upper person, or he knows someone that can go paint it for you. I mean, you don't want to be out painting houses. This isn't for... I, I, my whole process is buy low at the auction, sell low to a fixer upper guy. I mean, I don't buy these properties and fix them up. I'm buying big houses because I want lots of margin, but I never fix them. I'm not in there painting houses and putting roofs on. If I want a roof, I'd probably fall off. I mean, I, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I don't. Yeah. I, so I'm going to hire people. So, yes, you want those people, but you don't need them to be in the business. You got to be. You're the founder of the business. You hire people to do the work. Love it. And we Clean have a lot hands. of attorneys. Clean. Yeah, we have a lot of great attorneys and brokers. And, you know, as I'm thinking, this is a great thing for them to get become expert in, even do a few deals. And now they become their subject matter expert to all of their constituency and community. All of the tax deeds that are sold in the state of Texas are sold by legal firms. The, the counties farm it out to a local legal, legal term. And they'll wow. give you all the advice that you want about it. They're happy to do that. Awesome. Hypothetical question, Ted. If you had 50 grand to invest, would you buy many small tax certificates or just a couple of big ones? No, I'm partial. Um, I'm going to buy a lot of little ones. Okay. Because you never know when someone's going to pay their taxes. So they could come in tomorrow and pay you. Now, if in Texas, for example, if you bought something in Texas and they paid you the next day, you're still going to make 25%. Because hmm. it's a penalty return. So tax certificates are usually interest rate returns. When you buy in Texas or Georgia, those are penalties. So if I buy in Georgia and the people come in and pay the next day, I make a minimum of 20. If I buy in Texas and they come in and pay the next day, I make 25%. Listen, okay. I'm not going to give you any bad news. It's all good news. You just have to learn to work at it. There is no uh, bad news. Yeah, Ted, what is the cheapest you've seen someone get a tax defaulted property for? Oh, my God. I usually end with that. Okay, you're going to meet a guy in just a second on video. His name is Bob Schumacher. He started with me 30 years ago. Okay, now he started with me. He knew nothing about it. He's a full-time forester. He has a full-time job. So he did this as a side hustle. For 30 years, he's done it as a side hustle. He now teaches in my classroom. Okay, he's done over a hundred properties. Watch this video. I'd have to say that the best uh, dollar for dollar deal I've ever done on a piece of land it happened in Oklahoma. I went out to an outlying county and I bought a tax lien. The tax lien was on a 25 acre piece of land. The tax lien was only $67.12. Uh, you'd think that nobody would ever abandon a piece of land for that small of a tax bill, but things like that do happen. And guess what? Those people never did pay that tax. They never redeemed that tax lien. And I ended up getting the tax deed to that property. I eventually sold that piece of land for $22,500. It's not uncommon to make ten dollars or $20,000 off of a deal. Okay, there you have it. Let me repeat it. He bought that property for $67. Now, you can't go to Denny's with anybody else but yourself and get dinner for, 40, for $67. He bought the property, 25 acres. He sold it for $22,500. That's the best I've ever seen. Wow. Uh, folks, I'm a teacher and a guide. Uh, I have teachers and guides here in my office. Uh, everybody that uh, works for me is either a coach or a guide uh, so that we're in the business. We've been in the business for a long, long time, way back when there were little audio cassettes like this, all the way to the point where we have courses electronically online. You can go to like college courses online with us. But if you really learn something and you want to know more, the next step isn't for us to sell you something. The next step is for you to attend one of our classes, okay? Now, every other Saturday, I do a class. It's six hours, okay? It's a workshop. And it starts at 11 in the morning. It goes all day. It's virtual. So you can be in the kitchen. You can be in the, in the living room. You can be out of your patio as long as you get the internet connected to Wi-Fi. And you can watch this class. And this class will have not just me, but all of my staff people will be on it at one time or another. It will teach you about tax lien certificates. 
reteach you everything you saw in these videos and a lot more. And we'll teach you about tax to fall the property. I charge $47 for it. I don't give it away. It's $47. At the end of all that, if you want to do something, it'll tell you what to do. If you want to come to one of our classes, we can do everything. We do three day events. We do online classes. We have a class. We're the only ones in the world that do this. We have a class every single day for people that want to learn tax liens and deeds. Now, can I teach all that? No, but all the people that work for me are versed and they teach 30 minute classes every single day. And so you can spend 47 bucks and we'll teach you how. So I hope you guys learned a lot and kind of remember what Bob Schumacher did. Spent $67, made 22,000. That's as good as it gets. I love it. Ted, thank you very much. We appreciate your time and we'll see you at the next uh, interview.